hello and welcome back so now in this video we will add the game assets inside our project so for that on the desktop we have this dot winner file and as you can see it sizes 774 mb what we will do we will simply click on that and then click on this extract here and as you can see it gives us these six folders if we see the first three uh, which is the cars environment garage okay this is this will be basically our cars which we will be using in our game then this will be our main environment and then this will be our garage as you see in the introductory video we have a garage scene in which we can modify or select our car okay and basically i have downloaded these three packages from the unity asset store so if you have your own cars environments then you can use that but if you are following me then i am using these game assets okay after that i have this sprites folder in which i have all of these sprites for my game and basically i have downloaded these sprites from this website this is really a great website if you want to search for beautiful sprites or you can say icons then you can find all of that right here Okay, after the sprites we have the city machine okay so this city machine was created by me so that's okay and as you know we have used this city machine in most of our games okay then we have these fonts okay if i show it to you we have this space age font and i have downloaded this from this website okay right here we have the space age you can just simply freely download this font or if you want some other font as you can see there are many beautiful fonts you can download them as well if you want okay now what we will do we will simply first of all drag and drop these three folders okay so just simply drag and drop them inside the project and make sure that you add this inside this assets folder okay so just drop them on top of this assets folder as you can see the important is done we have all of these sprites right here what we will do to the sprites is simply first of all select them all and then right here we want to convert them to sprites so click on this texture type and right here select this sprite 2d and ui and as you know these uh, we this game is for the android devices so as you know uh, most of the phones are not that powerful to support high graphic games okay so for the mobile phones we need to make the graphic quality and the ui images and all of that in a very low quality so for that select this android okay and then click on this override for android you can actually make the max size lower or lower if you want but that will simply make the sprites quality a little bit ugly so we don't want that we will leave this in 2048 and then simply click on apply and as you can see right here they are now converted to sprites 2d and ui type okay if we see our fonts here is the fonts then we have this same machine but leave that for now okay so we have added these three folders what we will do with them is to simply delete them now we have this car environment garage let's click on this garage in here you will find this unity package file so just simply double click on that okay and right here you will find all of the cars as you can see we have the car textures prefabs and we have this models and also we have this materials inside this package we don't want the scenes folder okay so we will remove the tick from that and then simply click on import as you can see it has been imported so let's click on the cards if you check the prefabs okay here is all of the prefabs for now let's just ignore that okay and let me close that now let's click on the environment we have the unity package file right here as well so double click on it and right here as you can see we have this classic city mobile okay this map is basically mobile optimized so 
we will use this okay we have these three scenes inside this then we have the textures prefabs okay we have the sources and all of that so just simply click on import okay and this will take a minute or two so just wait for it so as you can see now we have this classic city folder and here we have these three different scenes we have the prefab material models textures all of that let's simply open up this scene day okay here is the scene day let's come right here okay and as you can see we have this beautiful city And now in here we will create our race track but or now if we go back let's close that now we have this Kraj scene so double click on that then double click on this okay we have this Kraj mobile Kraj volume 2 okay in here we need this scene so we will simply fully import that inside our project so now let's wait for this so as you can see now we have the garage scene right here let's double click on that okay here is our garage scene as you can see okay In here what we will do is to simply delete all of that homes but for that we will have to click on that and then click on this prefab and back completely and then let's actually create a empty game object by the name of environment okay and in here let's drag and drop all of them in there now let's delete all of the homes from there because we don't need them actually we can leave the containers but we will remove the homes okay because all of the things will be inside this garage so we don't want all of them okay that will basically increase our game size and we don't want that so now we have the Kerat scene right here all set up now let's go inside the classic city and the scene day and here we have the main camera right there let's create a empty game object by the name of environment as well and in here we will drag and drop all of that but first of all let's click on that and then click on prefab and back completely now let's try and drop that in there now we have the environment then we have this main camera and guys if you want you can use the scene night as well okay as you can see this will be the scene night but then also we have this scene overcast in which uh, there is a rainy weather okay if we play the game you will notice that there will be a rain and as you can see the sky is changed to cloud okay let's now click on this same day and in here if we come right here let's click on this cars folder and in here we have these prefabs if you drag and drop any prefab as you can see it shows the car in pink color okay we don't want that so in the next video we will fix all of this car issue and also we will add our player car to the game and then we will add physics and all of that engine stuff so that our vehicle will move inside this scene okay so catch you guys in the next one